Good afternoon. I'm Detective Inspector Simon Barnes and a Senior Investigating Officer into the horrific mergers of Andrew Asok, Jeeva Saju and Janvi Saju. Andrew was like a mother like many all over the world. She wanted to provide the best possible life she could for her children, Jeeva and Janvi. Andrew trained as a nurse in India and in October 2021, she came to the UK to begin her career at Kettering General Hospital. She arrived with her husband, Saju Chaluvali, and after a short while, moved to Petherton Court. Jeeva and Janvi remained with their grandparents in India until once settled in the UK, Andrew and her husband returned to India to collect the children in June 2022. At this time, they were very much looking forward to their new life together. Andrew has been described by her colleagues and friends as very hardworking, conscientious, friendly, kind, and will be sorely missed. She never complained. Neighbours would see the children playing on the front garden outside their flat and would often wave and say hi. They were happy and loved life. Both children attended Ketrin Park Infant Academy. It is unquestionable how much both children were loved and what a big impact they had made in only a short time at the school. They and their mother Andrew will forever be remembered with the memorial benches and balloon release held at the school. On this day, I saw a beautiful remembrance album. In it, the staff at the school described the children as kind, caring, gentle, playful, polite, smiley. Several comment how both children arrived at school with big bright smiles that they will never forget. There are so many messages, but one that really captures the sentiment reads, your precious lives were lost far too soon. May you walk in the light, hand in hand with your mummy Anju, and may your souls rest in peace. How do you explain to children as young as four that the friends they were playing with only days before are no longer with us? You shouldn't have to, no one should. As an adult detective and father, I cannot comprehend how Saju Chalavali could do this and I don't think I ever will. The children in Jeeva and Janvi's classes each drew a picture and wrote a few words as to how they will remember them and I will read some of those now. I liked playing with you. I really miss you. She always had a smile. I loved when you ran and playing tag with you. Thank you for coming to our school. You're a superstar. I miss you. I love you. I wish you can come alive again. They leave behind them a devastated family in India who is struggling to come to terms with what has happened. Saju Chalavali has today been sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 40 years for the cold-blooded and utterly senseless murders of Anju, Jeeva and Janvi. There is no amount of time behind bars that will ever be enough for what he did. His primary role as a husband and a father was protect his family from harm. They should have been at their safetyest at home with him, but he destroyed that. Saju Chalavali has never fully accounted for what he did or why. He will now spend the rest of his life with not much else to think about but that. This has been a difficult investigation to bring to this conclusion. I'm immensely proud of all those involved. From the moment officers first arrived on scene and commenced CPR, on all three victims, to the investigators, scientists, lawyers and everyone in between, I am content that today we have achieved justice for Andrew, Jeeva and Janvi. I would like to especially thank DC Mark Albright as a family liaison officer, DC Karen Kennedy as the case officer, DS Matt Bly as my deputy SIO and Mr Manoj Matthew who was a friend and colleague to Andrew and provided so much support to the police and family in India, including the repatriation of the victims. On behalf of the family, I would like to thank the Crown Prosecution Service, Police Service, local authorities, Kettering General Hospital, the children and staff of Kettering Park Infant Academy and the entire community of Kettering for their support and assistance in these very difficult times. Thank you.